With so many gatherings of family and friends and colleagues during the holidays, you might not feel like cooking much outside of those big family gatherings. Never fret, though, because Biagi's has got you covered. Chef Troy Tomlinson is back with another featured recipe to help us all out. Welcome back. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> What's on the menu today? Well, nothing, nothing says Thanksgiving more than butternut squash mm. and sage and butter and walnuts and so we have a, a pasta on our menu it's our butternut squash ravioli it incorporates all of these items um, I started the raviolis and I'm gonna talk some about the butter more than the raviolis all right. so this is a compound butter that we make and it's a it's a blend of uh, butter two kinds whole butter and butter that we brown in a pan first and it gets real nutty. You can smell it. Yes, it smells fantastic. We add fresh sage to that, some lemon juice, and some parsley. Now you can make that butter in advance. Keep it in your refrigerator or freezer, and boy, it would be great to baste a turkey with. It smells uh, so it'd good. It'd be great in stuffing. It'd be great on mashed potatoes. So many different things you can do with it. So we're saute just the squash. Yep, I have diced butternut squash, and we're just gonna lightly saute the butternut squash in the brown butter. We're gonna add a little bit of chicken stock to it, and we're gonna let that come back to a boil real quick. And we're gonna add our raviolis to it because we want a little bit of that starch mm -hmm. to come out into the into the sauce as it's cooking. It's and like so fishing. At home, if I'm browning butter, where's that fine line between I'm browning it and I'm burning it? It'll start foaming. Okay. And once it starts foaming, turn it off and just let it sit. Okay. Let it sit for about 10 minutes and then throw the sage in it right away. Okay. And it'll kind of fry it just a little bit and pull out more of the, the oils in it. And then to this, we're going to add some Parmesan cheese. And of course, we're going to season it just a little bit. And it's so beautiful. It just looks like fall. And right at the end, after the cheese starts to thicken that sauce just a little mm -hmm. bit, we're going to add our spicy walnuts. And they're just seasoned with a little fresh thyme. A little fresh thyme and some cayenne pepper. So they have a little bit of sweet and heat to them. They go really nice in here. Well, while you're plating that up, we're going to take a quick break. I can't wait to try that ravioli. We'll be right back with a taste test with Chef Troy's Viaggi's Ravioli after a look at what's coming up tonight on WMVD.